المشاهدين كما عودناكم في برنامجكم الاسبوعي برنامج اماراتي ان نستضيف لكم خيره من دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده ولهذا الاسبوع نستضيف السيد محمد جنه الفردوس المدير التنفيذي لشركه بير ستيشن في امارات دبي. ذا فيرست جود افترنون مستر فردوس. جود افترنون. وي وود لايك تو نو هو از فردوس اند وين هي كيم في يونايتد العربيه المتحده. I am uh, Mohammed Janatul Firdus, in short, MJ Firdus. Mm -hmm. I first time came in Dubai in 2016. On that time, I was thinking that I should actually do something here in this market. Great. And after that, uh, we have started in 2021 mm -hmm. to register our company here in UAE to do the business in across the Middle East. What's kept you in the mind from 2016 till 21 to come back to UAE and to invest? What's make you a, a heart or close to the United Arab Emirates? Okay, thank you. Actually, I was uh, traveling to US. On that time, I was having a transit in Dubai because I heard a lot of uh, development is happening here in Dubai, but I haven't seen physically on my eyes. So that was my first visit and I wanted to see and experience how the Dubai is going on, what are the uh, changes is going on. I have seen in the TVs and the videos, but I, when I see really that was much different and much promising than what I have seen in the, in the, in the video. 2021, uh, after the education, after the start of your business, you plan to start, a, we can say, branch in United Arab Emirates of a parent station. Let us know the first what your education and how you start the idea of Pearl Street a Station uh, 23 LLC and what the meaning of the name. All right. So actually, I have completed my education in 2008 uh, in uh, uh, Italy. Uh, I was uh, here there in almost three years uh, for doing my master in computer engineering. Mm -hmm. And on that time, I was thinking that how can we actually do the business and which would be the good idea for starting. And we have started uh, business from uh, Bangladesh, Dhaka, uh, because this was uh, my home country. Mm -hmm. And it started with only four engineers uh, together with few partners. Great. And then we found a client in Canada and US and we were growing together. And as a result, we also entered into the European market. But after some time, we see that we are actually not doing uh, enough work for the Middle East and, and Africa. And what would be the, our right uh, place to start with? So we found that Dubai is very business friendly and where we can start with our journey for the mineralism. And the meaning of Brain Station 23? So Brain Station meaning is, uh, I mean, station of top brain. Uh, that is called Brain Station mm -hmm. and 23 because our origin was located in Dhaka. Mm -hmm. The latitude of the Dhaka is 23, that's how our name becomes Brain Station 23. Let us know more about the idea of Brain Station 23. You mean uh, the what kind of uh, software? The idea, how the idea started and what uh, you are doing exactly in the company. So we are mostly in service. Uh, we try to develop people who can solve the customer problems great so this is our one of the primary motto that we will build a lot of employment opportunity for for the people for the engineer and we will uh, make a platform where people can actually uh, give their best expertise mm -hmm. and try to develop them because i had a experience to work internationally so i have some knowledge how the globally people want so the, i wanted to uh, implement this expertise to my organization so that the people who will work in our organization will have similar kind of quality and I uh, always encourage people to go abroad for the higher study mm -hmm. and they come back and join again so that's how uh, our um, uh, growth is very aggressive in from 2006 to 2024 uh, we have uh, started with four people, now we have 800 people. So you can see how massive growth we have. Yes, and how we are building people every day and every month and every year. 
and day by day we are growing through our people. Let us to know more, Mr. Fordos, <coughs> about your other partners also and what they, what they are doing at the moment. As a, you have in U.S. and German and Africa and Middle East today. Mm -hmm. Let us to know about the other partners and other branches also. So in Brain Station Group, we have uh, some partners who has co-founded the company. And later on, we have some few partners who joined later on the company, who are actually continuously strengthening the company. And each partner, partner has their own strength. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, one of our partner who is the group CEO, Raisul Kobe. So he has been graduated the, from one of the reputed university in Bangladesh, one of the top university. And after that, he just started this company. And I joined with him later on. And he had some co-founder who are in different business. Mm -hmm. But uh, currently, we are four, four of uh, found co-founder actually doing this business and running the business. For example, I am the group CEO and the CEO for this entity. Uh, I look after from a few other countries. For example, our CTO, he is looking after like US market. And we have some uh, local uh, partner for that entity. For example, for uh, USA we have, for example, in Malaysia we have, who are actually running the entity and looking after the business for that uh, country. Group, okay. But as a group, we have some common practice, we have some common process that we normally follow. Mm -hmm. That's how the whole engine is working. Great. And uh, also to enter the market of United Arab Emirates, it's a little bit uh, hard. We need to have a strong name, we need to have experience, we will have a big challenge also in the market. Let us know more about how you enter the UAE markets. So for us, it was not challenging because we are we were not a startup when we start, entered into the market. So we are already familiar in the digital world mm -hmm. because uh, in US market or in Europe market, they know about us. And we have a uh, actually a client in 30 different countries, 30 plus different countries. So when we are working with the countries, we understand the culture and we had some clients also in Saudi in some other area of the Middle East. So what we had to learn just the process of establishment and other things uh, I mean some rules and regulation and Alhamdulillah in UAE it is very friendly compared to other uh, country that where you open the office it was much challenging than this. Mm -hmm. So I think it was uh, not challenging for us uh, to uh, start operation here. The important part uh, to training our employees uh, and to give them a high uh, qualified uh, for to give a good services for our client mm -hmm. and to build a strong trust for long relation. Mm -hmm. How you are hiring your people and also how you're training them to keep them always qualified, to keep them always updating with the market and with the technology. So there are a uh, few parts. One is uh, we always look for hunting a new talent. How we do that? Every year, we run a program called Star Coder Program, where people, people do the programming. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a contest type, and people participate from the different university and join this program. And every year, we hire 100 new people, and to hire these people, almost 200, uh, 200 people, sorry, 2,000 people, more than 2,000 people apply mm -hmm. to participate in this one. Wow. And we can hire only 100 or maximum 150 people, depending on our need. Mm -hmm. So these people is already, uh, they have a very basic strong with the technology. Now we build them to make ready for the industry because they don't have the industry experience. And we do three months rigorous training internally so that they can, we have a separate training system, separate office for that where they do the three month rigorous training. Mm -hmm. And then they get to know about what kind of project, what kind of solution, what kind of domain expertise they need to develop. Mm -hmm. And they can choose. Someone is uh, choosing, for example, some technology, someone is choosing some domain like FinTech or telecom sector. So based on our uh, the customer list, mm -hmm. our domain, they choose some of them and the technology, let's say programming language, they are, there are multiple programming languages and they choose uh, their preference and based on that we train them. On top of that, they engage as a shadow engineer for the real project so that they start to contribute something and we do not charge for that to the customer. Wow. 
for six months. After that, if customer want to take him in the project, then he is more ready and they start to work. That's how we do the billing. So this is our investment period. After someone join, three to six months. Some people are ready after three months, but some of them are six months. So to be safe side, we always keep buffer for say six months so that in that period of time, they have some contribution in the real project. They have a learning, they understand the company culture and they develop it. So this is for the new recruitment, new talent uh, um, people growing. On top of that, for the existing employee, we also try to build the leader. And our organization is split into nine different business units. Each business unit has a CEO. Mm -hmm. So they are our senior leader. So they are running uh, the business for their unit and taking care of all the people who are reporting to that unit. For example, I, we have one business unit is a, let's say, healthcare. Uh, they are only working on the pharma or healthcare related solution. Mm -hmm. So there are, let's say, 100 people is there. And they are continuously taking care of their people, upgrading their skill. So we have a learning management solution internally. And in that solution, there is a learning and development team. They continuously ask to the leader, what kind of training you want to run in the next quarter? And who are the people want to train for which courses? And based on that curriculum, they are continuously learning. And there is a second level of uh, actually train people for the market. And what the topic you are uh, needed from uh, the people who want to register in your program? Uh, which one? For the different sector, like if they want to be in a business or if you want to be in uh, some uh, hospitality. How, what the topic you order from them, like uh, high education, college, certificates or what you are using to them? For our employee, right? Yes. So normally, we this is our internal training program. Sometimes we do the external training uh, in collaboration with some uh, uh, universities, uh, okay. uh, like uh, Stanford University is one of the collaborative partner for us, who actually train our leadership team. Great. So we had done one year joint program with them, where they have done analysis about our company people, and based on that they have trained us. And there was some on-site uh, uh, training and there was some offline training. And they came to our company, stayed a few weeks and have done the training. Nice. That's how uh, we are doing. And also with the, the collaboration with our local university. So there are some leadership program is going on. And what certificate you are providing them? Or so it, it depends like what kind of um, uh, uh, technology or, the, or training they are doing. If it is technology, so it is automatically come once they complete the uh, program, they get the certification from the brain institution. If it is for Stanford, it's a joint program, then they get a certificate from the Stanford with the logo of brain institution and the Stanford. Wow. So that's how we are doing. How do you see the growth of the markets in United Arab Emirates or in the Middle East? I see a lot of potential, but since I am a little bit uh, new here, so um, I have not, I mean, I mean, if I can talk with you after two years, then I would be able to answer more uh, uh, solid way. Mm -hmm. uh, but at this moment, I see a lot of opportunity. For example, uh, attending Jitex, we have met more than 200 uh, companies uh, in the next five, last five days. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, uh, everyone was looking for that solution. They are talking about the solution. So in that case, I see a lot of opportunity and most of them are from Middle East. The important part to market your services also. You was in GTX, but I'm sure you have other uh, event you are doing them. And also you have your own strategy to uh, market. Mm -hmm. How you are marketing yourself also and your uh, program? So we do have digital marketing, one channel. Mm -hmm. And we do uh, some uh, collaboration with some uh, UE uh, leaders here. Uh, we are trying to meet them, talking with them, telling our story. And that's how we get connected sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our uh, business team here uh, who are also going to the market. That's how we are actually branding our uh, solution, uh, telling our, that's how we are doing typically. Uh, that through digital and as well as physically. How you are uh, believe on invest in the human? Believe on? On invest in the human person. 
Yeah, we strongly believe on that. So that's how I say it, that we always care about the people. We try to grow people so that they can actually give their best performance right. for our customer. Right. And all, we always care about the people that how we can develop them, how because every people has some kind of expertise, some kind of talent they have. We try to find out that one, where it is and grooming them. So that's how our company is growing. Great. And uh, how the technology or AI, it's helped in your field also to grow uh, in the market? So if you think about the technology, AI, blockchain or this kind of technology is a part of the total automation. Right. It is not uh, everything. If you need a software that has to be AI enabled, only AI can solve the solution. Yes. So what we are trying to say that let's say you are using a app for uh, car booking, let's say Uber. So what happened? We uh, set the destination and we pick the uh, pickup location and we go. But what happened if we can get experience, let's say every time in the morning you come to office, every uh, time you leave the office in some time, then it should automatically give you the selective point right. that you might choose. You do not need to pick the location. Right. So that is the experience uh, AI is giving for making our life more smoother, more easier. easier. Right. So same thing for our application, we are trying to do that, that how the application can help instead of reactiveness, it can be more proactive from the system based on analyzing the people behavior and or, or the customer behavior. Mr. Fardos, today if you have a message for the people who support you in your success life, I mean the people who are around you, your founders uh, or family, for who you will say thanks, who was your backbone, who pushed you to grow in your success? So I, be, I would like to uh, grateful for our partners who are, who are believing on me because they are the, um, actually um, one of the back-end person who are helping me to run the show in this market and um, in from my family uh, my parents and my uh, spouse uh, who are actually continuously sacrificing as you know that I'm traveling my family is still outside the UE so that's how we actually I am able to deliver this one mm -hmm. I am trying to do this so that's why I'm grateful for and today we are living in United Arab Emirates, one of the best country in the world from the safety and security which help us to grow and to invest in this peaceful country. What's your advice for the new uh, people who are planning to come to invest in UAE or who want to come to live in this peaceful country? What you will advise them from your experience the last two years? So I, I would say for, for who would like to, who are thinking or would like to come to here and set up the investment here, it is a, a good platform. Uh, mostly for uh, business start uh, it is a very easy way they can start with with the less bureaucracy uh, for kind of any kind of operation there are a lot of agencies there to open up a new company then here one of the most important part is the people are mixed so this is the only country where a lot of nationalities are there and the people respect each other this is more important there is no racism, there is no, I mean, um, uh, racist between the people. So the people who want to work here, they will feel that comfort if they can deliver the quality. Right. And what you will say for the UAE leaders and for the UAE government for a smoothly start business here or to live in this peaceful country, for their support in different uh, areas from uh, the healthcare or education and also the safety of the UAE which help us to live and to be in peaceful and safe. What you would say for uh, the government of the United Arab Emirates and for the UAE leaders? So I am really thankful for the UAE leaders who are uh, ruling the country. I have a very good experience in the government office. I never I'm seen this kind of things in other countries. I have traveled more than 30 countries uh, in my life. Um, so. Uh, that's uh, the strategy that they are actually putting that is mostly for the uh, foreigner friendly who would like to work here. So that is, I, I would like to really appreciate that to make this culture here in UE 
for the people and that's how it's become a business hub uh, for the Middle East. Thank you Mr. Muhammad Jannatul Fordos for your time to be with the Emirati program, the Managing Director and CEO of Bairn Station 23 in Dubai. We wish for you all the best and more of success inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much also Emirati TV for uh, giving the opportunity to share my experience and our company. And thank you once again the whole team uh, for covering. Thank, thank you. you.